How do we save the rhino from extinction? Right now, we have the perfect storm of extremely poor people living right on the perimeter of an extremely profitable item, which is the rhino horn. A rhino poaching is not poaching, it's organized crime. You cannot imagine how many people are involved revealed right with there. rhino poaching. As a conservationist, it was always you the threat. I was ambushed. I was being shouted that they will kill me. And I'm telling you, you, you can't even imagine how serious is it. And because of the money involved, on average, poaching of one rhino brings that poaching team roughly 500,000 rand, which equals about 50,000 US dollars. So if it's a team of two, they split 50,000 US dollars, $25,000 a piece, which is more than most people in that community will ever see in their entire life. The person that's doing it doesn't know actually what he's doing. He's just running after the money and he doesn't realize what, if he's not there, what's going to happen afterwards, what impact is going to have on the community, on his parents and so on. Like for instance, what's happening yesterday is that the guy was coming up to me and was saying he was looking at that young guy that was killed, buried and looking at the parents, how sad that was. You have now parents who are grieving, parents who their life is shattered as their son is dead. And you have the kids of that young man have no father. And also you have that young 20-year-old anti-poaching ranger who now can't sleep at night because he's killed a human being and it weighs heavy on the soul. So it's not war. It's a very messed up thing. So shooting a poacher is the worst thing that can happen. You have a ranger now who's scarred for life. You have a dead poacher whose family is grieving for life and you have fatherless children. Killing poachers is not the answer. Shooting poachers is not working. Not working at all. You didn't realize what was the effect on the other side. Um, I was just thinking of the rhino. And now suddenly um, you think of the rhino and you think of the person that's killing the rhino. What if I told you two days ago that the game of soccer could save the rhinoceros? Um, I will not believe it. I will not believe it. But um, we were seeing it. So seeing is believing and we were experiencing America. it. That was magic, really. Field. Yesterday was magic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Those guys are not Thank Mickey you, Mouse. They are serious uh, um, people that doing the wrong things. And just to uplift that person with that jersey, you empower that guy and you, you say to him straight, you are not nothing, you are somebody. You can see in their motion and how they're receiving the jerseys. You can see it in the playing, you can see it in the 
how they was walking around, how proud they are, and, and so on. That was magnificent. But to start talking to them, and I couldn't believe that, you know, they were shouting at me um, and ambushed me and so on. Suddenly, yesterday, it was like a flippant festival, you, you know, and something special that that people is seeing that conservation is not a threat to them, that we're willing to go out to them and start talking to them so we can work together and solve together the problem. The community is part of conservation. You cannot manage a, a reserve from inside out. You must re, uh, manage a reserve from outside inwards. And the community all over the world are part of conservation. You cannot say poachers is from the community and they are separate. They are part of the community and you must accept that. It will not go away. You must address that. So it's better that you step out of your comfort zone, meet them, see what's going on there and working together with them. And a soccer ball was bringing the, the two parties together. That was for me a big thing in that town. Because soccer in the African community is a very big deal. The game of soccer is life, it's joy, it's happiness, it's competition. It's something for them to get excited about. So bringing a soccer team to a community is a major uplifting point. Conservation is not about flipping submarines, tanks and guns and everything. It's about communication. I'm seeing anti-poaching as a community-driven thing going forward without guns. So I think together now there is a new way. So our philosophy of saving the rhino from the outside in starts with soccer. Our focus is for the community to be uplifted to a point where their life is now enhanced by wildlife. So they tell the few people in that village, in that community who are poachers, no more. No more rhino poaching. Because now our lives are better because those rhinos are alive, not better because they're dead.